This is the wrap up for the live market open for April 6th. It's a Wednesday. Uh, we have some calm in markets, okay? Uh, with after the risk off sentiment yesterday, after the big surge of the yen, especially in the slide of commodity currencies, things are a bit more stable now. But this morning, your dollar is a bit stronger. In uh, political news, we had um, uh, Wisconsin primaries show uh, sort of a halt, a break for Trump's victories. Trump was trumped, and uh, Sanders beat Clinton there as expected. It's not such a big state. Many more to come. Icelandic PM quits in the Panama Papers. If there's another thing to watch today and the next few days, of course, is the Panama Papers because more revelations are coming. It's certainly not the end of the story. Uh, and there's pressure, of course, on UK PM David Cameron. Uh, uh, oil prices are up. Uh, currently crude oil almost 37 um, because of the draw in oil inventories. According to API, today we have the more a significant publication, the crude oil inventories. Okay, uh, figures yesterday were more or less as expected. Some came out better. For instance, the ISM non-manufacturing PMI, the most important one, it beat, it showed that the US services sector is okay. Even for New Zealand, milk prices went up and perhaps for the global economy, it's good to see that China's services PMI is moving up. Today, uh, we have a relatively light calendar, but with one big event. So, so far we had the uh, German industrial output sliding, but more or less as expected, even better than expected. Uh, Canadian uh, mo market movers, the IV PMI and the crude oil inventories, which has the biggest impact on CAD. Then we have a Fed fist. L Loretta Mester speaks at 420 GMT, Fed minutes at six and Bullard at half past 10. The meeting minutes are of course the most important ones. It's from the March 16th meeting that uh, was very, very dovish. Uh, things to watch are what, how the Fed sees inflation, how the Fed sees uh, the global worries. These two things surprised me and their dovishness also from Yellen last week and also three weeks ago with the uh, Fed statement. Okay. Um, and another thing, of course, to watch is how many of the members did not really support keeping rates unchanged or, key, or, or having this very dovish statement. We know we had one dissenter, a voting dissenter, but the internal discussions are, of course, also important. My bias is uh, towards a slightly more hawkish uh, outcome from the minutes in comparison to the statement. Uh, but be watchful, careful. The Fed in general is dovish. Okay, we have also a speech from Kuroda late at night. Quick look at the charts in our wrap up for today. Um, the dollar is generally stronger across the board. Euro dollar is well entrenched in range. Uh, range is from 130, 113.35 to 114.10. Uh, currently sliding towards the lower end of the range. Let's see if we can ever break lower. Pound dollar also on the back foot with all these worries. 141.25. Weak support, very strong support at 140.50. 175 and 140 uh, resistance. Dollar yen, the magic line is of course 110, resistance at 111. Let's see if we have another attempt to break under 110, perhaps the line in the sand for the Bank of Japan, but they've had other lines in the sand and it turned into quicksand. Uh, dollar CAD, 131.46, it stopped exactly at resistance at 131.70, further resistance 132.20, which is also a strong line, support 130.80 and 130. Aussie dollar, um, well, not doing that, not too shabby for the Aussie this morning, better than expected Chinese services PMI certainly supports uh, the Australian dollar, um, 76 I would say is the next line of resistance, and the Kiwi dollar um, fell under 68.20, nice technical behavior there, uh, support at 67. Okay, so I guess that's it for today, this is the of course, the, um, um, the expectations for rate hike according to bond markets, currently 20% only chance for a rate hike in June. Let's see how we compare this um, for tomorrow. And uh, well, before we go, perhaps another reminder of the events we have later this week. I mean, tomorrow's events. Tomorrow, of course, we'll talk about the Fed mi minutes and other events today. And we'll talk about the expected speeches from 
Janet Yellen and Draghi. So to answer tomorrow's question from Jax, the the main pair to watch tomorrow will be euro dollar without a doubt okay and on friday we have the canadian jobs report so um i believe we'll have uh, attention towards the fed the fed minutes and then some action and tomorrow lots more action okay so that's it for today uh thank you very much everybody for coming for the great questions watch out for the panama papers for more revelations for more political victims no cheating <laughs> And um, yeah, and I'll see you all tomorrow. So thank you and bye bye.